Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about my July 2016 favorites. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Alright, so there was a lot of discoveries between the months of June and July, and since I took that quick break in June, I obviously didn't do my monthly favorites, so there's going to be a good amount. I'm going to start off with skincare, as skincare has been one of my main focuses throughout this year, is trying to better my skin. Something that I've been loving is mask. And I mask, I want to say anywhere between two to three times a week. One of the masks, or I should say a threesome that I've been loving is this one right here. This is by Peter Thomas Roth. And I have to thank Olivia for showing me or sharing this amazing brand with me. But this comes in a three deluxe sample kit. And what you get is you get the Irish Moor Mud, which is a purifying black mask. You get the 24K Gold Mask, which is a pure luxury lift and firm mask. And you get the Cucumber Gel Extreme Detox Hydrating Mask. Now, I have tried all three of these masks, but my two favorites are the Black Mask and the Cooling Green Mask. Now, I have used this, I want to say, maybe four or five times. And as you can kind of see in there, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but there is a good amount of product in here. So a little bit goes a long way as well. So you're going to have a good amount of time to kind of test out these masks and see if they work for your skin. And this one does wonders. The amount you get in here is 0.5 fluid ounces, which surprisingly, like I said, goes a pretty long way, which is really, really nice. They don't really have a scent. Yeah, they don't really have a scent, but I love this one to really detox my skin. So if I've noticed some breakouts or raised texture, I will put this all over. And you put Put it on for 10 minutes, you let it soak, sometimes I do it for an hour if I'm watching The Bachelorette or something like that. And then what I do is you just wash off your face and you are set to go and you can definitely feel that it has completely polished your skin. And it just feels rejuvenated and it almost feels like you've taken one of those strips of mask and just pulled all of the nasty gunk out of your skin and your pores, which is fantastic. The other one that I've been loving is this one right here, which is the cooling mask. It's hydrating, so it's going to detoxify your skin while hydrating at the same time. And I love this one. And this one, they say to use a good amount, and so I've probably gone around halfway through this, especially since it is more of a gel versus the other one is more of a cream. So I love both of these masks. I do like the gold one, but I haven't used it as much as these two. The other mask that I have been in love with, and I'm so glad that I received this in my, I think it was like my June or my May Sephora Play Box. This is the Cora's Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial Mask and it is a Rose Savage Mask. So if you're not a big fan of the scent of Rose, then you won't like this because it is very, very potent and my skin did react a little bit to this, but I love this. So I sleep with this on. I sleep with either this one or the Origins Mask that I have raved about before, but it definitely does brighten your skin, makes it feel very smooth, and when you wake up in the morning, you just feel so refreshed. And the Rose scent definitely makes you feel very calm, which is very nice too. So I love this little deluxe sample. It is 0.3 fluid ounces. I will definitely be purchasing a full size once I am out of this tube. So now we're going to segue into makeup and with makeup there have been some products that I have rediscovered and have been falling in love with again and then there are some new products. So some of these items I have talked about before that I've loved but I haven't used them for a while and so I thought I would talk about them again. But the first product is definitely new. I'm going to be doing a full review on this as well as the other palette from Velvet 59 but this is the Exotic Lotus palette. I love this palette. I think it's perfect for summertime and I think it's going to be great for making very colorful fall looks. I love that it's vegan, paraben free, cruelty free, gluten free. I feel like this is going to be a great palette for darker skin tones. Granted, like I said, I can wear it as well, but I feel like if you're a lighter skin tone, the only thing that it's lacking is a lighter shade. As you can see here, I thought this one was going to be very light, and it's not exactly as light as I thought it would. It's just like a shade darker than my lid, which is fine. Like, I don't mind that. I just wish maybe it was just a little bit on the beige side or a neutral shade versus it being a little bit darker. And then this shade as well, I feel like it's the same tone as this, but I have to say that my favorite shades in this palette have been Kaido Kimono, The Silk Road, Sake Plum, and Smoked Tea. So almost all of them. I have yet to try Tiger Lily, but Tiger Lily is gorgeous as well. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a full review for you guys, so look forward to that. Like I said, that's going to be either this week or next week, so stay tuned. The next makeup item that I have been loving is for my face as a foundation. I have been wearing this all throughout June, all throughout July. I am obsessed with this, and as you can see, it has had some love. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full coverage cream and anti-aging hydrating serum with an SPF of 50. 
Woo, that's a long name. I don't understand why brands have to come out with these really, really long names. But I have been loving this. First of all, I love that it is a pump so that you can get the exact amount of product that you want and not overuse the product. And I have been loving mixing this with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. This is the liquid version. These two together make my skin so luminous. I wear this in sunny, sunny days. It is really hot in this room right now. I feel like I'm glistening right now, but I know that it's gonna stay put because of the way that the CC cream is. I don't know what it is, but this stays put, locks in place. If you didn't see already, um, I have a makeup tutorial using this as my theme park makeup go-to foundation. I love this. It stays put all day. It's very, very lightweight, and you can build this up, and it doesn't look cakey, which is nice. I am almost out of this, which makes me really, really sad because I have been obsessed with this, and I'm definitely going to have to repurchase this. By the way, guys, I'm so sorry for the airplane noises. I'm in downtown right now. Hopefully, I can mute them somehow but if I can't then I apologize so something that I have been loving 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 to set my foundation and my concealer with is this right here this is by Tarte and it is their smooth operator Amazonian clay tinted pressed finishing powder and I am in the shade light I love this because I know that I'm not gonna have the white cast that typically translucent setting powders have because it has a little bit of a tint and it is exactly my skin tone I know that this is just gonna bring a little bit more coverage but is going to lock everything into place and blur everything together this sets beautifully the only thing is I definitely cannot wear this alone as it's too light coverage for me as it is a setting powder as you can see right there you can barely see the pigment as it's just supposed to be a setting powder it's not supposed to be an actual foundation or pressed powder I like this because it is buildable and you can definitely use it throughout the day without looking cakey sticking with face products I have two blushes that I have been in love with the first one I received as a gift as I am now VIB Rouge again at Sephora which means that you spend way too much money at Sephora it's embarrassing I know but they gave us this as the little perk and it is a NARS deluxe sample blush and it is in the Shade Gulu, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, but this blush is beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's this beautiful dusty mauve, with a little bit of a purple undertone. That is the blush right there. It is gorgeous. I've actually worn this on my eyes as well, and it definitely brings out my hazel eyes. This blush stays on all day long. A little bit goes a long way, and I don't think I will be repurchasing this, as I don't think that I will ever run out of this, but I have been obsessed with this color. It works beautiful on my skin tone, and it is that perfect 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 everyday blush the other blush that I have been in love with and have fallen in love with all over again is this blush right here I've talked about this before but this is my makeup revolution the matte blush and this is in the shade fusion this is like a peachy coral shade it is gorgeous a little bit goes a long way let me tell you that but that is the shade right there. As you can see, it definitely is more of a coral versus a peach, but it has a little bit of a peachy warm undertone, which I really do love. Moving on to highlighters, I have found two highlighting products that I have been obsessed with. The first one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the Glow Kit. Y'all know that I'm obsessed with the That Gleam Kit. I don't know how many times I'm saying obsessed in this video. I'm sorry about that, but I have been loving, adoring, I'm trying to use different words, adoring this Glow Kit. And the reason being is I have been in love with these particular three. This one I love too, but it's just not the best for me. I don't know if I really like shimmery bronzers, but these are gorgeous shades. This one is Sunburst Bubbly, and then this one is Dripping in Gold. They are just gorgeous shades. By far, my favorite highlighters ever. I'm not gonna get the other kits as they're not really geared towards my skin tone, but those are the shades right there. Just beautiful. I typically mix these two together, but this one I've worn alone. I'm actually wearing this one on my cheekbone. This lasts all day long. It gives you that beautiful, beautiful glow. I'm in love, in love with this kit. The other highlight that I've been in love with is this right here. This is the Tarte Exposed Highlighter. Now, this one just came out. I got it at BeautyCon, which I'm grateful that I did. I was eyeing it and waiting for it because my friend Olivia <laughs> Obviously, I love Olivia's channel. She introduced this to me, and I'm so glad that I waited and purchased it at BeautyCon. But this one is gorgeous as well. Let me show you. That's it right there. But it definitely gives you a beautiful, beautiful glow from within. So if you don't like that vivid, like, in-your-face highlight like the Anastasia, 
definitely go for the Tarte as it's going to give you a subtle highlight. Now you can build it up to make it a little bit more dramatic and this is also great for an eyeshadow. Loving, loving, loving this highlight. I have one brow product that I have been loving and it's this right here. This is the Pixie by Petra Brow Powder Palette. Now I have been loving this as an eyeshadow as well as setting my brows. So as you can see, you've got multiple colors for your brows. So you can use this as a makeup artist or if you are trying to do different wigs or if you're trying to experiment, maybe make an ombre brow. You can go ahead and do that with this product as it is extremely pigmented and stays put all day long. My favorite shades for my brows have been these two right here as this one's a little bit more of a taupe and then this one is just a cool tone brown. Because I use warm tone colors in my brows, I like to kind of balance everything out by using these cool tone colors. They are gorgeous. I love that they put a brush in there. I will say these colors in here are very comparable to the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. Obviously without the shimmery color because you don't want shimmery brows. But if you are looking for something that's a lot cheaper, that maybe if you want to use that to set your brows or fill in your brows as well as use as eyeshadow, I would definitely look into this. Uh, I think it's a great eyeshadow palette as well and I've used all these colors and they are fantastic. Very, very pigmented. Okay, so these are the last makeup products that I've been loving. So so the first one is this liner right here and this is by NYX and this is the NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Liner and this is in the shade Vivid Violet. This is gorgeous. I'm going to do a swatch right here. Granted, this is not going to come off of me. I use it for Mermaid under my lower lash line and it stays put all day long. It's actually really difficult to even take off at the end of the night. I definitely want to try the black. I don't know if I would put it on my top line as it is a little bit liquidy and the brush itself is very, very flimsy, so you do have to be very careful with that. They have so many different colors. I love the purple. It definitely makes my eyes pop. I've definitely been getting good use out of this for Mermaid, and I've been loving it. So if you've been looking for a good, vivid liquid liner for either your lower lash line or maybe even your top lash line, go ahead and get some of these as they are incredible, incredible quality for a good, reasonable price. And my last makeup item that I have been loving, and it is another eyeshadow palette that I've talked about various, various times. Y'all know it's one of my holy grail items but I just started using it again during the month of June and I'm loving it I I feel like I need to use it for every single month as it is my baby but it is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette y'all know that I love this I'm trying not to hit pan but these are gorgeous gorgeous shadows perfect for the summertime I mean I feel like they're versatile for every season but I love the scent of these they're super super pigmented I've been using them all month long when I'm not a mermaid and it's just a great palette it's great on the go, but you want to go for a very subtle look to a very intense look to a romantic look. You can get all of it with this palette. It's beautiful. I feel it's definitely worth your money. If you haven't seen my review comparing this one to the original, I will put that up in the cards or I will put it in the description box. Moving on to brushes. I have four brushes that I have been in love with. One of them I'm not sure if I've talked about before, so if I have, I apologize for that. But two are face brushes and two are eye brushes. So we're going to be talking about the face brushes first. And one of them goes hand in hand with the It Cosmetics CC Cream. But this is the It Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush and it is in the number 101. What I do is I dot the foundation all over my face and then I start to press it, bounce it all over my skin and then blend it away and it definitely does create a blurring effect. It's really easy to blend all over the skin. When this is dirty, I use my beauty blender, but when it's not dirty, this is my go-to brush for liquid foundations. It is just amazing. I need to try it with all of my other liquid and cream foundations because it is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I have been obsessed with It Cosmetic brushes and I need to get my hand on the entire collection. It's almost like all y'all PokeGo players, you know, you gotta catch them all. I gotta catch all of them It Cosmetic brushes, let me tell you that. The other brush that I've been loving is by Morphe and this is their Morphe M335 brush. Now I use this for my concealer and I think I've talked about this before, I'm not sure if I did, but what I do is I apply my concealer and then I just tap this right underneath, make sure that I press it into the skin and then I buff away any edges to create a very seamless application. The one thing I love about this compared to the Beauty Blender is it's not going to suck up your product like the Beauty Blender. You're going to be able to use less product for a better result. So I've been loving this brush. This is really, really affordable. You can't go wrong with this Morphe brush. This is by Luxie and this is the 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. Now you can use this for your crease. I don't. I actually use this to smoke out my lower lash line. I get right underneath and I can really make a really dramatic smoky look with this. I mean once in a while I will place products right in the outer V and blend it out. But this brush is so soft. 
I'm so glad I was introduced to Lexi brushes. I heard nothing but great things about this company and so I definitely need to look into possibly purchasing more of these brushes because they're incredible, absolutely incredible, and this one is just amazing. This is a rediscovered product, but this is by Inglot, and it is their 20P brush. It's a very, very teeny, teeny, tiny precision brush, but when I'm not using that other brush, the Luxie brush, to smoke at my lower lash line, I like to use this one to get right underneath my lower lash line and create a very subtle definition. That way you don't look naked underneath your eyes. So I love this brush. I've had this for five years, six years, and it's still holding up. Now we're going to be moving on to fashion items. So I have a couple of items that I have been loving. The first one is this dress right here. You guys have seen this all over my social media, but this is by the company Daisy Shop, and it is this beautiful, beautiful sundress. It is gorgeous. I will insert a picture right here so you can see what it looks like on me, but this is the perfect shape for my body. I have a really short torso and really, really long legs. I mean, I'm basically all legs. So the great thing about this is that it is made for short torsos. So it cuts off at the right place, just making my legs look elongated, making my body look slimmer. It's this, almost like the swimwear material. I don't know what the swimwear material is. I'm not really good with fashion items. I apologize, but it feels like a swimwear material. So it's breathable. You can wear it outdoors in the heat and it's going to not stick to your body, which is really nice. I wear this for all weddings that I've been going to recently, and yeah, I've been obsessed. It's been a huge hit too. And the last item that I've been obsessed with are these shoes right here. These are by Aldo. I don't actually know what the style is. I'm not a big person to wear heels. I wore these all throughout BeautyCon. My feet hurt halfway through the day, I will say that, but I feel like it was only because we were walking around on cement, so it was killing me. But I've worn these to weddings, I've worn these to church. They are just very, very comfortable shoes. I get lots of lots of compliments on them. I love the strappy heel. I just think that they go with everything. They work with dresses, they work with jeans. They kind of dress up any casual outfit, and I just love them. I love the neutral tone, and yeah, I'm very, very comfortable. I've never really tried Aldo before, but I'm really glad I did, and so I, I'm gonna be wearing these until they fall apart. Well, my battery is coming to an end, so I'm gonna call this a day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and until next time, have an amazing week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.